Mario. Mario, it's time for the next episode. Mario. Mario, wake up. Mario, wake up. Mario! Okay. Hey YouTube, I am Marcus Raven, and this is episode 2 of our Let's Play of Super Mario 64 for the Wii U Virtual Console. So in the last episode, we played through bob -Omb's Battlefield up until the Red Coin Star. We got the 100 Coin Star, which was a task. And this time, we're going to come over to this door over here, which is a one-star door, Womp's Fortress. Open. I want to say there's a toad in this room that gives me a star, but I could be wrong. Well, there is a toad. Nope. Let's not punch the toad. It talks about cap switches. And how to pick the stars. Okay. Womp's Fortress. Chip off Womp's block. Hey, the little kiddo brother is cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneak up on enemies. The trick is this. He has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. In wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around using right C and left C. Press down C to view the action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any farther, the buzzer will sound. This is the little kiddo brothers signing off. So the whole sneaky thing. Sneaky deaky deaky. Shh, punch! Yay! So knowing that those give five blue coins will be good when we do the 100 coin star. Um, actually, I am going to take a significant shortcut here. Flip! It's the wonderful thing about this game. You can always find a shortcut just by trying some acrobatic moves somewhere that you may not have tried them before. Yeah. So we're trying to get to the top of Womp's Fortress. You know, one of the nice things about this being on a system that handles polygons well is you can see where certain things break off. Like, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there is some slight pixelation right under my feet that show where the polygon meets another polygon. That'll come in handy for a later star. Okay, so those are Womps. Those are little Womps. We want the big one. There you are. Makes me so mad. You build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Well, you are a chunk of walking sidewalk. Did you ever think of that? Okay, we're gonna see if the glitch works. I screwed up. We can attempt this one more time. There we go. If you kick in the air just right, you pass through him and you're already on his back. Just like that. Beautimus. Crushed again. That's what you get. That is what you get. Already off to a good start. We've got eight power stars. We could go after Bowser, but I don't think we need to yet. The top of the fortress. If you think we were at the top before, you are wrong. A little flip. And another flip just for show. And jump. Okay. So, for a good majority of the stars in this stage, we're going to be following the same basic pattern of taking that shortcut, following this path, 
We'll deviate ever so slightly for a couple stars. But not by much. Nope. Hey, you know what, Mario? If you stay on the platform, it works better. It really does. So look, this wasn't here before. And since we need to go higher, let's go higher. That plank of wood sitting there will come in handy later. No, come on. And look, there's our star. A good majority of the stars do not take long to grab. They really don't. There's just a lot of repetition with jumping back in. Shoot into the wild blue. Now we're going to follow our basic start here. We're going to take this shortcut by... There we go. Quite unfortunately, the Wii U gamepad stick is a little harder to perform some of the acrobatics with. Hi, I'll prepare a cannon for you. You're so sweet. Now, when they say shoot off into the wild blue, they actually mean... Blast yourself towards this right here. Now, we don't want to go for the pole here, because we can get to that any other way. We're looking for this area underneath here. And... Come on. Quit being twitchy. Smack into that pole right there, so we're not shooting off into oblivion. We slide down here, and there's our star. It's a fairly simple one to get. Red coins. Alright, so we're going to go for our 100 coin here just as well. So, knowing that the piranha plants give 5 coins, there's quite a good number of them. Punch. And when we get our red coins, the star is going to appear right here at the beginning of the stage. It's moderately inconvenient. For those boxes that you can pick up and throw, I may have said this in the last episode, but make sure you throw them at the wall to better give yourself a chance of controlling the coins that pop out of them. And you guys want to push me off? Sure. Okay, now this marks a drop off into oblivion if I'm not careful. God, those are womps. Or thwomps, excuse me. Womps are the, uh, the sidewalks. But Thwomps are the big blue guys. They have come so far in their design. Got that. Here's our little incline trick with holding A and pressing B in, in perfect timing. This is nice. Blue coin switch. 20 more coins right there. away from the fence so we're not losing any over the edge by accident. So much easier than blasting through the sky like we did in the last episode. Oh my gosh. That was just tedious. You you won't see it in the edits, but it took me a while. <sighs> and I'm not even going to bother sneaking up on you. I'm just going to slide right through you. 75. Oops, missed that one. Carefully cross this. We will, however, sneak up on you. I'll do some sidling here. Get that. And we ride the rotating platform. One up's gonna show up here in a second. I was not going to bother with it, but since I fell, I may as well now. Gotcha. I was gonna say, if he disappeared after all that trouble, 
I was going to be upset. I shouldn't have any problems with lives. Oh, you're back. Problem is, you only give me a coin once, so I could care less about you. Wait on our platform. Yeah, you can see, we already got 93. We are well on our way. Now, I could use the cannon and go to the, where that one star was to get that ring of coins, but there's going to be plenty. I'm not going to need it. See, we're at 98, and these things give four coins. Smack. I think he dropped five, actually. Now, I don't need to collect any more gold coins. So that's nice. Oh. I don't know what it is, but these elevators, you try to go fast, and you just slide right off of them. Okay, now remember that plank? One kick. Two kick. Okay, I've got six. Yep, perfect. Perfect. I didn't think I missed any. And... Eight! And there's our star right there. Come down here and get this. Now, we've got to be careful, because there's ways to jump down and shortcut this, but there's also ways to jump down and die. Okay, those platforms. Out of my way, please. Okay. I feel that was effective. And safe. Not bad. Not bad at all. High score of 123. Nice. Okay, fall into the caged island. This is a unique one. You'd never guess, but if you climb this tree right here, there's an owl. And he basically says jump and hold A to grab his feet. Let go of A when you want him to let you go. I can turn him left and right with the stick, and there's our star that we need. He slowly descends, ever so slowly, so... Nope, nope, nope! I failed. I failed. Basically, I need to fly around until I can clearly see my shadow in the cage so that I know it's safe to let go. The nice thing about the old N64 formula is you always had a shadow directly underneath you to help determine where to land. Just gotta wait for our owl friend. There you are, buddy. That's better. Fly like an owl to the trees. Fly like an owl. Let Mario carry me. Come on and fly. I can almost guarantee at least one pointless musical interlude in every episode. I like to sing. Singing may happen. You've been warned. <laughs> anyway, blast away the wall. This is the last star, and this is also one of the fastest to get. As if this stage hasn't been fast enough. So we come over here to our cannon, which is already open thanks to the lovely pink bomb. Now, you see that part that's broken away, but that's not the one we need. Or, that will break away, excuse me, because you see... I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but there is a obvious break with the polygons there. Something that you couldn't really see in an old N64 format. We want to break this one. Now, grab some coins to refill our health. A few extra just because they're in the way. There's our star, right in the wall that we busted. Now, I have missed this one plenty of times before. All you gotta do is just slowly walk up on it. It's like the crocodile hunter, like... I'm gonna sneak up on this star. And I'm gonna poke it with a stick. Now, 
don't get me wrong, I was a huge fan of Steve Irwin. I am not trying to make fun of him. He was a good majority of my childhood. Okay, so... Ooh. Shiny. What's shiny up there? Oh. Welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks you find will become solid. Then we can go back and do our flight cap related stuff. Z to land, or butt stomp into oblivion. And we use the control stick to fly. Now, there are red coins in this stage. Controlling Mario just well enough to get them. A bit of a task. Oh my gosh. Slow down. Slow. Slow. Mario, please. Okay. Now, I hope I didn't waste too much time. So, oh. Um, switch first. Yes, I would like to save. Yeah, switch first, because otherwise I'd be kicked out of the stage for gra grabbing the star. Alright. Well, I think, to wrap up this episode, we'll go do a flight cap. Mario wings it to the sky. So yeah, basically same pattern. We get up to that island, and we get to the cannon up on that floating island. Now, you're next, chomp. Don't you worry. You're next, buddy. That is so convenient. So we just chain ourselves together through these cannons. I'm not really caring about coins or anything right now. And as you can see, we have a flight cap box over here. Grab that. Launch to a cannon. Let's see if I can get this in one shot. These coin rings are where we want to shoot for. This one goes a little bit higher. Oh my gosh! I got the first four. I missed the one in the last one. Let's see if we can get it. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, as you can see, that kind of dips down a little, but then it suddenly shoots up in terms of flight path. And I am out of control. Oh my gosh. Land. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, once Mario gets up to speed while flying, he becomes an uncontrollable force to be reckoned with. Alright, we are going to finish out today's episode with the final star behind Chain Chomp's gate. So our good old buddy Chain Chomp here, who's been plaguing us for quite a while now. Let's see if I can do this in one go. Nope, I missed. One, two. Can't see, but it's there. You're free! Be free, my friend! My frenemy. Alright. Well, I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up. <clears throat> that episode was very straightforward, isn't it? I'm probably not going to have to edit anything there. Um, as always, I have been Marcus Raven. In the next episode, we're going to head towards uh, Jolly Roger Bay. And possibly some, uh, what is the snowy stage? One of those two. Uh, but stay tuned for that. If you'd like to catch me live, twitch.tv slash MarcusRaven86. 
And as always, thank you for playing. Bye bye. Now we're going to follow our basic start here. We're going to take this shortcut by. Come on. Mario, please. There we go.